An eSports varsity program is growing so fast, it's looking to triple in size by next semester. Of course, with a nationwide chip shortage, issues with the supply chain, there is a slight problem. Way 31's Alexis Scott spoke with the coach of the Calhoun's eSports program on what they've been seeing so far. Majority of the games played here are on PC, and right now they're doing okay on equipment, but with the way the program is heading, they're going to have to buy more of everything, and that goes beyond just the chip shortage. It's a supply and demand issue. We wanted to get ahead of the curve and go for PlayStation 5s. Well, th that is still a problem now just to get one for your home, let alone buy in bulk for a program. Casey Knighton is the head coach for the eSports program at Calhoun Community College. He told me he's on the competition committee for the National Junior College Athletic Association and they wanted to offer some titles for PlayStation, but because it's been in such high demand since pre-pandemic and now with the chip shortage affecting that too, it's a no-go at a time the eSports program is growing. Going from nine possibly this semester to upwards of 30, two, two to three times larger, uh, it's great and scary at the same time. Now they have enough equipment to play right now, but he says eventually they do want to get more consoles. Even though COVID is still looming with the issues it's bringing, Knighton says if you're interested, you can still come make a difference at Calhoun. We're the first in the state to do something like this to put together a room like this. I know some that are still playing from home. Students are allowed to bring their own consoles to future competitions and in the classroom. Reporting in Decatur, Alexis Scott, Wayne 31 News.